and welcome to this video about the biggest video game flops of all time. You have probably played a video game that you don't really enjoy or even hate, but these video games that we'll talk about today were so bad so the developers had to trash them in one way or another. So let's get into the video. E.T. the Extraterrestrial E.T. movie was a huge success. The video game was not successful at all. The E.T. video game is actually classed as THE worst video game of all time. Atari, which was the creators of the E.T. game, of course didn't understand that this was gonna happen. So they spent over 20 million dollars acquiring licensing rights. The game sold 1.5 million units. You, that may sound like a lot, but they had 3 million cartridges that went unsold. The E.T. game made Atari lose 536 million dollars. After this failure, Atari decided to bury a lot of E.T. games in a New Mexico landfill. That proves what a disaster it was. As you can see on the thumbnail, that was one of the games they have buried. No Man's Sky. This game has such a big hype before it released. Just imagine, a big open world landscape that had endless possibilities. It's kind of similar to Minecraft, but round. The game developers had promised a lot of stuff that they didn't keep. So when they finally launched the game, it wasn't as people expected it to be. So the game flopped. But when just taking a look at pictures of the game and gameplay, it looks really good. Later on the list, we will encounter more game developers who is lying to their fans. So stay tuned for that. Two Human. Two Human is named one of Xbox 360's biggest flops. But despite that, it looked like it would be a really good game because the beta got more playtimes than. Grand Theft Auto 4 in a week. It was all just a hype around it for some reason. Before the release, there were some delays in releasing the game. It made fans wonder if it was something wrong with the development of the game. Finally released, they started to get really bad reviews because there was a lot of missing features and broken promises. What would you do if you were a fan and this happened? I, f I would be angry, I think you would too. And that is just the beginning. What really made the game fail hard was that the company which developed the game got in legal trouble with Epic Games. Yes, you heard that right, the creators of Fortnite. They got sued by them and they lost. So a few years later, they filed for bankruptcy. This game is actually still available on the Xbox Store or the Microsoft Store. So if you want to, you can still buy it. Tomb Raider, the Angel of the Darkness. If you know anything about gaming, you probably know that the Tomb Raider series is a super famous and awesome adventure game series. Every game in a series usually isn't great. And this game had your expectations fall short. This game is one of the biggest flops ever because it had a lot of problems, including poor controls, glitches, and a bad camera angle. All of that outweighed the good by far. This game only sold 2.5 million copies, which makes it clear that it was one of the worst games in the series. Some games in the series even sold up to 8.5 million copies. Star Wars Battlefront 2 This game was highly anticipated. People was hyped because it had a story mode unlike the first game. When it finally arrived, people were angry. They had an option that you could buy coins, and with coins you could unlock characters like Darth Vader. But it took super much work to unlock the most famous characters like Darth Vader. So people had to buy coins if they didn't want to spend several days to get the characters. 
This is called microtransactions. I have played this game myself, and I get really annoyed because of that. I don't like the campaign either. I mean, it was okay, but not as expected. This is just an annoying game with a lot of microtransactions. But what can you really expect when EA is making the game? They are famous for their pay to win ways. You can nuke them forever. Sometimes games get delayed, and that's okay. It can take a week, a month, or even a year. But it doesn't take 14 years for a game to be finished. That's exactly what happened to Duke Nukem Forever though. Duke Nukem was a series that had a lot of games in it. There was only 4 games that was considered belonging to the main campaign. Duke Nukem Forever was the last game in the series. And well, that wasn't so strange. The game was set to launch in 1997, but it moved between 4 different developers and was even officially cancelled in 2009. It finally launched in 2011 and fans were so disappointed so the game lost 30 million dollars. They should have just kept it cancelled. Before we go on I just want to say that if you have enjoyed this video, which you have clearly done because you have watched this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to get more awesome content like this. Atlas Atlas was presented during the Game Awards 2018. It was a big world for people to roleplay as pirates. I think a lot of gamers really look forward to this because it's almost just Sea of Thieves that offers this kind of game. Anyway, when it was just about to release, it got delayed, and that happened several other times. When the game finally released and was playable, people wanted to see how it was and if it lived up to their expectations. Then they realized it's just a reskin for ARK, another game made by the same developers. This was a big reason to why they failed. It's so sad to see games with this big potential to just fail. It's really sad. By the way, if you have come this far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Yogue Ventures Yogue Ventures was a Kickstarter project that was created by the famous YouTube channel Yogue'scast. They wanted to bring an open world sandbox game to their subscribers. The channel supporters wanted to help to bring the game to life. So they donated a total of $567,000. I just need to tell you that Yo's cast are not game developers, so they had to hire a studio to make the game for them. After several delays, by the game developers, the game was cancelled. The worst thing is that the people who supported it with money did not get refunds. They did get a small compensation, and that was code for another game called Tug. Some people donated over $5,000, so that must be a nightmare. Just take a second to imagine donating over $5,000 to a game that you really want to play and help, but they never create the game, they just cancel it. Think about that, I would have been devastated. I want to thank every single one of you who watched this video and made it to the end. Tell me what you want to see in my next video down in the comment section. By the way, if you made it this far, you clearly enjoyed the video, so subscribe for more awesome gaming content.